Louis, I'm sorry. I had no choice. Surprised to see me? You. Look at you. One eye on the door. Typical. Don't even think about trying to make a run for it. Have you any idea what you've done to me? You broke my heart. You destroyed my life. I just want you to know I'm truly sorry. I loved you with a passion. I thought we had a future. I'm sorry. You didn't just steal my money. You robbed me of my confidence, my, my self-respect. You made me feel ridiculous. Some stupid, gullible woman. Really, from the bottom of my heart. Oh, keep your cheap sentiment. It doesn't work on me anymore. <sighs> flipping Sean. You don't shut up. Felt like staving his head in today. Will you do me a favour, love? What? Do a couple of hours behind the bar. Oh, Grand, no. I need some peace and quiet. I've got to keep a close eye on Dennis. I've got to cater for his every whim. Dennis? Yeah, he's the mystery drinker. Mm. Are you still here? I'm going to have to start charging you rent. It's your fault for making this place so welcoming. <laughs> what can I say? I am the flame to your moth. Same again. It seems like a lifetime since I had me dinner. I'm not sure I should be drinking so much on an empty stomach. Well, why don't you have a hot pot on the house? That'll sort you out. Uh, excuse me? Another pint to wash it down with. You really are the hostess with the most... You go and sit down. I'll bring it over. Save your legs. Uh, just to let you know, the uh, men's loo's run out of toilet roll. Oh, well, why don't you let it drip dry like nature intended? Fran! I beg your pardon? I am so sorry about that. She's, um, she's not been very well. Uh, but I tell you what, I've got some triple quilted in the back with your name all over it, so... Oh, I knew you'd be in here. Pull up a few. Treat yourself to a bit of lemon. Are you pie-eyed? Yes, I most definitely am. You're supposed to be helping Rita at the cash and carry. And, and, and Nelly Craddock was incandescent. Every Friday for the past 20 years, she's come in for a quarter of dolly mixtures. It's the only thing that gets her through the weekend. Oh, vlog her some wine gum. Oh, there's no point in talking to you when you care. I'd read her and have your guts for garters. Penny, please. You're going to pay for what you did to me. Finally. Your past has come back to bite you in your backside. Result. It's about time you got your comeuppance. You did the right thing telling me he was here. Audrey, please. You know I love you. At least he won't get the chance to hurt some other daft woman. Do you want to phone the police or shall I? There's no need for that. But this is our chance to make him suffer. God knows he's caused us enough heartache. No, seriously, put your phone away. I think there's another way we can sort this out. Bear with me. You got that calculator. Trying to work out that quote for Horrocks's. It's no rush. It's not due till next week. Might as well make a start. <laughs> Anyone would think you don't want to go home. You know, I know my flat's not exactly a palace, but it was my space, do you know what I mean? Somewhere I could just chill out and take it easy, but now... No escaping the lovely Tracy. <sighs> this is the worst idea Steve's ever had. Let's be nice to her, she didn't get bored. You're yeah, right. There's no pleasing you, is there? How do you mean? You moaned when Ryan parked himself over at Sally's. Well, yeah. But... You didn't like him living in Glasgow. Oh, come on. You can't blame me for that. I really missed it. I know that things aren't ideal now. <laughs> Far from But at least he's not going anywhere for the foreseeable. That's what you wanted, isn't it? Hey. Excuse me. We're closing. We have to have a little time to turn this into a Moroccan oasis. I just need a quick word with Tracy. We'll make sure it is quick, or I will be ejecting the pair of you. I'm glad I've caught you. Oh, what do you want now? I can't stop thinking about what you said before. It's been bugging me all afternoon. Oh, my God, you lead such a dull life. I'm just saying, you've not thought it all through, have you? What do you mean? Well, what's going to happen in nine months' time? Where's the baby? You're gonna say you left it on the number 10 bus? Okay. Okay, I admit it. It was a spur of the moment thing. I only did it to annoy Michelle. Well, no one would blame you for that. She's the smuggest cow ever. It's the tight on Ryan. Oh, look, Beth. The 
This is war. You, you've got to expect somebody to get hurt. Hard as nails, you. I think you've overdone it with a coffee. You're manic. I'm efficient. Now, Anna, would you describe yourself as having an artistic bent? Um, well, I, I once made a really brilliant model of cool in the gang out of Play-Doh. Oh, well, do your best. What we need to do is drape the fabric. It needs to be sensual, magical. It should bring to mind the insides of a Bedouin tent. It's more like a tart's boudoir, if you ask me. It has to be completely authentic. As if you half expect an inquisitive camel to peer round the door at any moment. Mary. It's a few odds and sods from Eccles Market. I think you've been a teeny bit overambitious. We're all in the gutter, but some of us are looking at the stars. Remember that. So what's the plan, Gran? I've been where you are now, Audrey. Once he starts working his magic on you, you hardly know your own mind. It's not like that. No, I was a parasite, living off the sad and the lonely, but I'm not that man anymore. Look at you, standing there, looking terribly contrite. Saying all the right things, that won't bring my money back, will it? <clears throat> oh, ma'am, please tell me you're not going to write a cheque. Right, yeah, Mrs. B. Right, now you be lucky. Right. Mrs. Braithwaite wants to go to the bingo. Tell someone else. She's asked for you. Tell her I'm in out to Mongolia. Yeah. Oh, wishful thinking. Even that won't be far enough away from Tracy. I tell you, there's something going on there. Oh, you're telling me she's mad as a box of frogs. No, 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 no. I mean between her and Ryan. I was watching them earlier. She didn't know I was there at first. Oh, were you wearing your invisibility cloak? Shut up, this is serious. Oh, sorry. No, when she's got an audience, she's snogging the face off him and it's babes this and babes that, but when they're on their own, it's a totally different story. How do you mean? It's like she's bored, like she's putting up with him, you know, tolerating oh, him. Well, we all feel like that sometimes. I'm not sure she even likes him, but she knows when she's with him that it causes problems for me and Michelle. I know she can be a right scheming little cow, but she can't be that hard-hearted to go and have a baby with someone purely out of spite. <laughs> well, I can't let things carry on like this. I need to do something. Oh, no, 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 no. You've done enough damage. Michelle went ballistic last time you tried to sort some out. Well, she loves tormenting me and Michelle. No, I need to put an end to this once and for all. Oh. Everything, everything is fine. Yeah, yeah. The music. No, it's the radio. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. No, we're just finishing up now. Yeah, oh, okay. Would we please, will you give it early, my love? All right, then. OK, bye, 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 bye. Oi. I don't like lying to him. Needs must when the devil drives. Oh, oh it's wonderful. Oh, it's really atmospheric. Uh, peace be upon you. Apparently it's a Moroccan greeting. So much more profound than higher. Yeah? <laughs> Tonight, at Mary's Moroccan, we will have lamb tagine, meatballs in raisin sauce, and zaluk, which is spicy aubergine. Now, aubergines can be right greasy beggars in the wrong hands, but actually, these are lovely. Have a seat, come. <laughs> My assistant, Anna, will come and take your order in a moment. I hate waiting. My stomach is a knot. She said she'd be here. She looked like she meant it. I don't want to get my hopes up. I can't cope with more disappointment. Hey, patience is a virtue. <laughs> Look at you. You were a total hothead back in the day. Yeah, but I have mellowed in my old age. Thanks for trying to sort it. I'm dead grateful. Good evening. Peace be upon you. What's your surname? You took me for £10,000. You do know that. Gran, you can't do this. It's madness. Yeah, I agree. This is not your responsibility. Your surname? Thornley. Penny Thornley. Took you years to save up that money. All that hard work? Late nights, early mornings. Audrey, this is so generous of you, but I, I don't think I can have this on my conscience. You don't have a conscience. Oh, now you do promise this is the end of the matter. You won't go to the police. How do I know it won't bound? Because if it did, you'd report him and he'd have to go to prison. Best place for him. <sighs> and I couldn't bear to have him taken away from me. My God, he's done a brilliant job on you. Penny, he's the man I love. The man I want to share the rest of my life with. 
Do you really think you're going to be the exception, do you? Mm -hmm. Do you? Don't kid yourself. He's evil. It's as simple as that. tonight. Don't know, see how Tracy's fixed. Hiya. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry that was a crabby old cow earlier. You know that I love you, don't you? Hmm. Huh. Will you two pack it in? Oh, Michelle, that candle is lovely. Candlelight is so much more flattering when you passed your best. Well, dinner's almost ready, so are you and Ryan off out now? Oh, I'm sorry. No can do, I'm afraid. I'm still feeling really queasy, you know, pregnancy-wise. Tracy, all I'm asking is that me and Steve get to spend a little bit of time together on our own. No, 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 no. I, I, uh, sorry, uh, we've got stuff to talk about. Well, chance would be a fine thing. It's not Tracy's fault she feels ill. No. Oh, Ryan, she's ill when it suits her. Oh, look, I'm oh, sorry, but, you know, I, I, I just don't see the point to all this anymore. Why? What do you mean? Well, it's just not working. Well, yeah, I agree. The four of us are living together in this flat, and Amy, and now a baby on the no, way. No, 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 no. I mean, you, you, you and me. What? But we've only been back together a few months, and it's caused nothing but aggro. No, Steve, we're all right when we're on our own. It's just the other complications. No, I'm sorry, but my mind's made up. It's, um, it's over, so... Gran, ring the bank, cancel the check. David, it's my money. It was your money, you mean? It's my money. I can do what I want with it. Gran, this is crazy. Why should you pay for his mistakes? How many more women has he conned? Oh. How many more are going to turn up on the doorstep demanding what he owes them? I can assure you that is not going to happen. Oh, that's all right, then. Talk about the bank of Audrey, the gift that keeps on giving. Uh, do you know, I would like you all to leave now, please. I know you mean well. You're all I want to know... No, now, stop it. I could have left today. I could have walked away from you all with all your squabbling and your backbiting, but I didn't. I paid Penny off so I could stay here, so I could stay with my man and my family. So don't make me regret that. Oi, can you put that away, please? I don't think they could be too impressed. Would you want me to keel over with boredom? Well, there's always something that wants doing, something that wants cleaning. <laughs> Gail, cleaner. Kylie, waitress stroke barmaid. Where's Nick, anyway? He's gone to Audrey's. Something a bit weird going on. Like what? Oh, I don't know. It can't be out serious, I would have heard. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, I see Roy's just opening again tonight. Just walked past. He was right back it going on. Mm, I called him before to have a nosy. Mary were totally knackered. She won't be able to keep this up for much longer. Well, if she's working away around the globe, this could go on for months. Well, it shouldn't affect us too much. Kylie, times are tough. People are struggling. Can't afford to lose any more customers. <laughs> <laughs> Just me, can't get enough of them. Well, you had more than enough last night, thank you very much. Oh, bring it on. No, it's actually Moroccan mint tea. It is very good for digestion. I used to make a sour mint tea when I was a nipper. Oh, that's a very sophisticated drink for a young man. I used to get my used chewing gum and put it in water and let it fester for a few days. Mm. Proper tasty, it were. <laughs> I may never to go around to yours for a cuppa. <laughs> you know I'm sorry. No. no. But I can't keep apologising for the rest of my life and you can't keep on punishing me. I'm sorry, Mum, I've been a brat. It's just that I was in shock and it was one thing after another. I know. And I start to get to know you, to like you. <laughs> well, I can see what you saw in him. Actually, it was my afro what did it for you, Mum. <laughs> now I just want to move on, see what the future brings. Thanks for coming, love. Oh, you've got Lloyd to thank for that. Yeah. He said I was callous, self-centred, unforgiving. I'm going to prove him wrong. Discuss this, please. Well, what's the point? It's a disaster. Why prolong the agony? But I thought we had something special. You said you loved me. We should go leave him to it. Where's my, um... Oh, Listen, I want to get out of here just as much as you do. But when I'm feeling like this, babe, I... Look, we're just going in the bedroom. Yeah. It's difficult. Oh, Ryan, I've gone all dizzy and weird. I'm going to have to lie down. 
This is all down to her. Me? What have I done? You. You're a lying, scheming, manipulative little Oh, cow. it is not my fault that you can't keep a man. Please, Steve. Please don't go. Please don't let me. Oh, it's too late. She's... She's one. I can't live like this. I think your barmaid needs to undertake some staff training. She was very rude to me earlier. I know. I, I am really sorry about that. She's a... She's not staff, actually. She's my gran. And like I say, she's not been well, so... She does her best. <laughs> Bless her. But it can't be easy, you know, when you... When you're not all there. Oh, dear. Poor woman. Yeah. But she's family. And you do not put family out to pasture just because they're knocking on a bit. That's a very laudable sentiment. <laughs> well... The regulars are used to her and they give her the benefit, so... <laughs> One big happy family, eh? Everybody is welcome in this pub. Well, I must say, it's wonderful in this day and age to encounter a pub with a real sense of community. I shouldn't be telling you this, but uh, I should be putting in a good word. <laughs> Gran. Oh, not now. No. Can I get you anything else, Petal? Is there anything at all? You oh. just name it. Have you no shame, woman? Draping yourself all over my husband. Oh, look sharp, Dennis. Wife on the wall, Do you know the way you're carrying on? People don't think you're running a knocking shop in the back. Oh, jealousy is a very ugly emotion, Rita. Jealous of you? I don't know. Ladies, so. ladies. Oh. Grant, just, just, just. Oh, you, you cheeky baggage. Try to get your claws in my Dennis. I'm doing no such thing. You get home. I want to a good thing, drinking for free. Oh, <laughs> bribing them with booze now, are you? Well, that's the only way a fella will take any notice of you when he's unconscious. But this is just a sweetener. Dennis is helping us competition-wise. What are you talking about? Dennis is the mystery drinker. He's the what? Grant, that's what I'm trying to tell you. It's not Dennis, it's him. You ridiculous woman. You really are ridiculous. Yes, ridiculous. I've missed this so much. I never thought I'd hanker after the simple life. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I know how to take that. I love you, Audrey Roberts. You really are a truly amazing woman. Yeah. Yes, I am. And I don't know how, but honestly, I will find a way to repay you. I'm not worried about the money. Well, you may not be, but I am. Oh. Louis. This time yesterday, I thought I'd lost you forever. I've got you back now, and that's worth more to me than anything else in the world. I've had a glimpse of what my life would be like without you, and I couldn't bear it. Thanks for talking some sense into her. I'm just relieved that weren't okay. It could have been a total disaster. <laughs> Things could have been much worse, couldn't they? She wouldn't have been in the same room as me. Just call me Mahatma Gandhi. <laughs> that stuff you said about her, she's not like that. Not really. Well, hopefully I'll get the chance to find out for myself. We are so lucky, you know. How do you mean? Been given a second chance. Is that what this is? Yeah, I reckon so. She's high on caffeine. Oh, I do love these theme nights. They're so cosmopolitan. Oh, yeah, you're great. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome, my love. Peas be upon you, Mary. Oh, it's peas, you numpty. <laughs> peas be upon you, I wouldn't be so vulgar as to mention money, but in Morocco it's customary to leave a tip. Oh, right. As I understand it, failure to do so is taken as a personal insult. Ooh. Thank you very much. Cheers, Mary. See, we'll see you, Mary. Bye. 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 See ya. See ya. See you, mind. How you go? 
you'll be lucky to see our beds before midnight. That was fabulous. We, Anna, have catapulted our customers into a wonderful world of culinary delights. Well, I don't know how much longer I can carry on doing these nights, not after working all day as well. We have broadened their horizons. All the benefits of international travel, but without the faff. Poor old Phil, I've forgotten what I've looked like. But we mustn't rest on our laurels. Our next theme night has to be even more spectacular. Excuse me, have you not been listening to a word I've said? Pardon? I can't carry on doing these long hours. It's not fair on Thay and it's not fair on me. I'm knackered! I want my life back! Ten grand? No way. Yeah, way. Worst luck ever. Well, she must think the world of him. She's do lally over him. Do flaming lally. Grant's made a decision and as much as we disagree with it... Yes, well, it's all too convenient as far as I'm concerned. I've watched the hustle. You can't pull the wool over my eyes. What do you mean? Yeah, I don't get you. Well, just try and keep up, will you? This has all the hallmarks of a scam. Wait, hang on, who's scamming who? Think about it. Lewis goes missing, this penny turns up, says he owes her money, me mam coughs up. Are you saying that Lewis and Penny are in this together? Exactly. No, I can't see it myself. Yeah, look, I don't know what to believe. I'm sure Gran won't appreciate us sticking our noses in. My mother might be blinded by love, but where Lewis Arch is concerned, I've got 20-20 vision. <laughs> Yes, smirk all you like, but I promise you, I will not stand by and watch that man humiliate my mother ever again. I'm on to him. Well, a much-loved comedy actress tells Piers Morgan about the colourful life she's led, and it's very candid at times. Felicity Kendall takes centre stage next this evening.